black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, on today's getting unfat menu, we're gonna have some turkey wings for a change. We are gonna do some buffalo style, but I'm also gonna have a light little bit of a honey garlic as well. But we're just gonna do light coats, but we have to cook them before any of that happens. So let's get a baking pan, sheet, tray, whatever you'd like to call it. And uh, we're gonna tin foil the bottom. Sorry for the sound here. It's beautiful and perfect. These wangs are going in. A little bit of oil. A little rub of the oil. A little bit of salt. A little rub of the salt. And then I got two cubes of home brewed chicken stock. Those are gonna melt when we put them in uh, the oven, of course just to keep things moist and flavorful while we're cooking low and slow. And we're gonna give these guys full coverage. Get it wrapped around all nice and snug. We want our steam pocket. And we're gonna go on convection bake at 275 for, oh, I don't know, let's call it maybe two hours, hour and a half, we'll check. I'll just put it for two hours. Two hours and we, Pop these guys in. I forgot we're going this way. And we're in and we start. So while that's going down, we're chefing up mild buffalo sauce. Buffalo sauce light. I don't like anything too spicy. It's just not my general vibe, but I'm just going to melt down a little bit of butter into the bottom of this pan here. Yes, this is a strange method I know, but it saves me dirtying a knife from cutting the butter off and I can just Eat it like this. And the pan's getting hot on my finger now. So just watch for that. Also, this is getting annoying for the sound. Please don't do all that. And so we go some Frank's hot sauce. And then we go equal parts, no sugar ketchup. Wouldn't be one of my recipes if I didn't hit a little pepperoncini brine in there. <laughs> and then a squaz of honey. And we mix. And you really don't have to do much more than that. You just got to get it warm and then heat it back up when we're tossing it on the wings. All right, two hours in, smelling good. Let's see what we're working with under the hood here. Watch yourself for steam burns. Be careful when you're pulling. All right, so we are tender and cooked. But now we gotta pop these back in at 450 on Convec for a good little while while they crisp up and we're also gonna drain off this liquid. So we're gonna put them back in without the liquid. All right, so drain off the liquid and then these are going back in uncovered at 450 convection for, well, until they get crisp. I'm gonna say probably closer to 25, 30 minutes maybe, but we'll see, keep an eye on them. Okay, so we got these guys crisping up a little bit here and now I'm just gonna treat them like ribs and paint on some sauce and put them back in to get the sauce like baked on and crusted and crisped on. And you guys know I'm a variety hoe, so I'm gonna do one barbecue and one Honey G, honey garlic. Not a whole lot of sauce, just enough to coat on. Brush, just brush it on a little bit. Same with you, Mr. Barbecue. Just a nice little coat to crisp on. And then we come in with the buffalo. Or sorry, the buffalo light, the, the mild buffalo. Back in they go for a little cake on action. All right, y'all, time to plate these babies up. First, we got a honey G. Maybe we'll go like that with the honey G. And then we come in with the barbecue right across the honey. G, and then we gotta have the big buffalo drum. 
with the buffalo flat right there just like that then maybe we do a light little shift open this up just a tad and our ranch can go there and we got some nice beautiful turkey wines tender crispy saucy not too saucy just saucy enough Let's eat them. All right, what up? What's good with y'all? We got options. Oh, we got flavors. We got turkey wings. The holiday season, Thanksgiving. Uh, it got me on the turkey vibe. I, it, well, these are on my dietary plan as well. But having turkey at uh, Thanksgiving was like, I got to make some of those. But in this style, because I'm the only one in my family that eats the wings. Everybody else goes for the white meat. I do like the white meat too, but I love the wings. Anyhow, we have our ranch and we have a crispy ice water tip from Tim Hortons. And uh, I'm just so ready to get into this because slow cooking two hours and then like another half hour in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, oven. <laughs> so I'm down to uh, to get to the business. So they are just pulling off from the back, as you can see. We'll get to those scraps, but I want to take a legitimate, legitimate first bite. See, the back's just falling right out uh, with y'all here. So let's do this. This is the BBQ. Sweet baby rays. Not too much, like a tablespoon. That's how it remains still on the diet. Not too much sauce. Boneyard. Of course, we're already getting the face side sauce for this. Tender, crispy. I don't love my chicken to be super juicy. <laughs> so they're halfway between. They're not like super dry or anything, but I like my, ch my turkey and chicken to be somewhere in the middle. Not crazy dry, but also not like dripping. <laughs> That's kind of nasty. All right. Got some like scrap pieces that are just falling out the back. I'm gonna mention Quan Tran again because I saw his video pop up. He was making like the easiest juicy chicken breast. And the way they came out, he like squeezed them. And there was like sweat coming out of them. That's not my style. When I watched that video, I was like, ew. Mm. All right, buffalo time. Well, not really. You guys know that it's a halfway buffalo. I'd say the only thing, the only issue between uh, turkey and chicken wings is like the dipping ass aspect. And I even have a big ramekin right now. Can't get in the dipping bowl. We 
might have to do a pour. A drag. Perfect. Hard to say what I like more. Turkey or chicken wings. Both good. Turkey definitely a like a better bone to grip onto. Kind of more meat per bite, but I say overall the flavor of a chicken wing. Might be a little bit better. And I'd probably say because chickens have a higher fat content. Okay, honey garlic. Honey G being a definite favorite. Favorite flavor for wings. messy endeavors i know there's always the debate of like as humans are we carnivorous to any degree are we really supposed to eat meat and uh i think that's maybe more of a question of the fact that we're so advanced that we probably don't necessarily need to do it anymore like we might have had to in the past to hunt game for survival but I'll tell you one thing two of my favorite things in the world to eat are ribs and wings seemingly things off the bone there's just something about it that is so a delicious it feels like it's inside like it's like it feels natural like it feels whatever that is and it's super there's something ridiculously enjoyable about it without trying to sound morbid. Like it just feels like it's built in to my operating system. Like it doesn't feel unnatural in the slightest. And when you get everything that off the bone that has to offer, it's just so satisfying. I think that's why I like 
wings and ribs so much is for that exact reason, is that satisfaction. I don't know how, how else to describe it. And that's why people get mad when it's like, clean your bones. Eat everything that's intended for you on there. So I don't know, as far as your bodily needs, dietarily, what you can supplement and get from other sources, perhaps we don't need to do it anymore, but there's something very instinctual, it feels like, about it. Is what I would say. Not to get in debate about it, not to bring that as like a controversial topic, because I feel like at this point, you know what I mean? The world's pretty like meat dominant, I would say. Obviously, but everybody has their own uh, preference on that. And I think uh, at this point, we've, for the most part, been able to respect that about each other, it doesn't make as crazy waves as perhaps it used to, or I don't know, either way, that's just my, my expression, my opinion on, on how it feels when you eat these kind of meals for someone who it feels, it feels natural to, that's all I'm trying to say. Anyways, so delicious, I could easily crush at least another plate, possibly two more, but I'm not allowed and I don't have any more wings, but I would if I could, but I can't. Okay. Till the next one, you know, to do eat or make these wings and also eat and live well. <laughs> Stay true.